Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Bu Jiao Ling Today we are going to learn how to use these five steps to solve a monopoly profit maximization problem with calculus. So typically in this kind of question, you will be given a demand function that monopoly faces, and you will also be given a total cost function. And we're going to use calculus to solve a profit maximization problem. So you're going to follow five steps. The first step is that we have a demand function and we are going to find the inverse demand function and express price as a function of quantity x. Second, you are going to find the revenue function by multiplying your price function and quantity. The third step is that you are going to take the derivative of the revenue function to find the module revenue function. And the fourth step is that you are going to take the derivative of the cost function to find the marginal cost. And finally, you are going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost to find the profit maximizing quantity. So let's take a look at the example using our five steps. So our example is this. Our quantity demanded is equal to 100 minus 2p. That's our demand function. Now I'm going to find the inverse demand function. So I know quantity is equal to 100 minus 2p. Now I'm going to write the price as a function of my quantity. So you reverse it, you find price is equal to 50 minus a half times my quantity x. So that's my price function. Now multiplying my price and quantity to find my total revenue. So revenue is a function of x, and that's price times quantity. But what is my price? My price is here. I just found it here. So price times quantity. Then I will find the revenue function. And the third step is to find the marginal revenue by taking the derivative of the revenue function with respect to quantity. So here we take the derivative of 50x, that's 50, and minus a half times x squared, then we just use power rule, so that's 50 minus x. That's my marginal revenue function. And the fourth step is that I need to find my marginal cost function. So I know my total cost is equal to 2x. So my marginal cost, just to take the derivative of 2x, then you get 2. So that's my marginal cost. Now the fifth step is that I'm going to set my marginal revenue equal to marginal cost to maximize my profit. So my marginal revenue is 50 minus x. I get it from here. And my marginal cost is 2. So 50 minus x is equal to 2. So what is my x? My x is equal to 48. So I put a star here, meaning that this quantity is profit maximizing quantity. I call it x star, which is equal to 48. Now, if the question also asks you what is the profit maximizing price and what is the maximized profit, then you just need to plug this back to find the profit maximizing price. So I know my price is equal to 50 minus a half times x. That's my inverse demand function. So I just plug in my x star here, then I will be able to find my profit maximizing price. So here is 50 minus a half times 48, which is 26. So I know this is my profit maximizing price. So if the question asks you what is the profit, then you just do revenue minus cost. So revenue is p star times x star minus my cost. So my p star is 26. That's the profit maximizing price. And my profit maximizing quantity is 48. Multiply them minus my cost. So what is my cost? Cost is equal to 2 times x. So it's 2 times 48. And after you calculate that, you'll find the profit is equal to $1,152. So this is how we use five steps to solve monopoly profit maximization problem. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.